has a variety of uh, interests and uh, backgrounds and knowledge. Uh, mainly his expertise is uh, religion, beliefs, and maybe you can tell us what what is it that uh, you, you like to research or you like to uh, you know something of interest. I don't I don't call me call myself an expert. I'm just a curious mind. Okay. I'm just interested in everything, which means I'm good at nothing. Okay, did you <coughs> were you able to see the, the class? I don't know if uh, Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, yes I did, I did. Is that class? Uh, uh, we can all see you, but uh, unfortunately because I'm gonna have to put the computer down, we, uh, you're not gonna be able to see us all the time. So okay, I hope I, you don't I, I hope I, you don't mind. Um, I can't visualize. Okay. Uh, okay, so today's topic, as I said earlier, is going to be a, a, an interesting and a different one than what we've talked in the past. Today we're going to talk about, by the way, this is for organizational behavior, uh, which is one uh, new area in uh, business and management. Human resources, they highly rely on OB to improve and to enhance business operations, uh, organizational uh, performance, and uh, many other things related to management and teamwork and individuals within a firm. So, today we're going to talk about a very important topic, which is personality. And uh, we want to look at uh, different things that are related to personality, such as uh, emotions, values, personal attitude, uh, individual work, teamwork, management, leadership, and job satisfaction. And we want to sort of go to the root of uh, personality and see how personality is related to all these uh, different things that are important and eventually generates uh, job satisfaction for all of us. So, let's start with uh, your opinion or impression in regards to personality and uh, then we're going to talk about personality assessments. And there, there are quite a few different assessments or tests out there. Uh, there's uh, Myers Briggs, uh, there's the uh, Hartmans, and quite a few different ones. But today we're going to focus on Hartmans for, for a few different reasons. But uh, let's, uh, let's go with, uh, with your input on um, what do you think of personality. And then perhaps you can tell us a little bit about what you have uh, discovered or seen while you. Uh, went over the Hartmans. Go ahead. Eddie. Yeah? Can you hear us? Yeah. Yeah? Where is yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, it depends, uh, I mean, uh, uh, in order to define personality, you need uh, a theory of personality. And basically, I think every test, like every quantified test, is based on a kind of structuralist theory of personality. And so you have uh, 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 a sum of variables, of mathematical, mathematical variables, you can uh, uh, you can make a statistic, uh, statistical analysis or uh, put it in a computer. But the problem, the, the problem is that uh, basically all these uh, variables like job satisfaction, uh, emotional uh, <coughs> characteristics uh, and so on, so every single variable interacts with all the other variables, and, uh, which basically multiplies the variables. Also, every single variable changes in time. 
And so you have here a typical situation of chaos theory, where a small, a tiny change in one variable uh, implies uh, exponential change in time, which makes, I think, every test is very good as, uh, as, as long as you do not make an absolute of it. You, you, it's a reference. And it's basically, I think, it's like in quantum physics. Let me use a uh, uh, comparison in quantum physics. You either know the, the wave or the particle. You cannot uh, have the wave and the particle at the same time. So if you, uh, if you single out the pa particle, uh, it's what we call the collapse of the wave. And if you study the wave, it's just a probabilistic position you don't uh, know where the particle is. I think it's the same thing. You, you, you take uh, one of these characteristics, you focus on it, but you lose in the process. You lose the whole spectrum of personality, which is always evolving and changing. You, you focus on the whole spectrum. You cannot focus on the details. And I think it's a very tricky study. So we have to accept that we have a probabilistic uh, study of personality. We know what a certain constellation of factors is most likely to do in a certain situation. But basically, I think that uh, uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, uh, this uh, constellation of, uh, of factors which we quantify, it's always changing, always evolving, always interacting with other factors. And so we have to keep in mind that it's a process. It's not just uh, 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 like uh, it's not just uh, like in a classic like it's not like a classical mechanic. It's more uh, rather like quantum mechanics. It's something which we cannot uh, uh, pin down. Yeah. Okay. So I think we have to, to to rely on intuition. We have to rely on intuition on our experience. Sometimes on our instincts, on our feelings. Uh, where well, you know people, and basically the best uh, no, uh, the, the, the the best people with people, let me put it like that, uh, are those who have very good instincts. Uh, a good instinct can be replaced by any uh, theoretical knowledge of psychology or test or something like that. Okay. Um, is this working? Yeah. Okay. So so let me ask you something now. Uh, as you're saying that. Uh, all these different characteristics are evolving yeah. with yeah, humanity. Yeah, absolutely. And they are interacting among one another, you know, all the time, so... Right, so would you it's say... It's pattern over time. Okay, so would you say that compared to, I don't know, a thousand years ago, five thousand years ago, or a hundred thousand years ago, do you think that our personalities are way different today than as they were, let's say, a thousand years ago, five thousand years ago? Uh, probably yes. Uh, I, I'm not, not probably. Mm -hmm. Absolutely yes. Because the human subject is not something with, which precedes a, a social network in which it's inscribed. Uh, the, the, the human subject is a product of uh, interaction between biological, psych uh, hereditary, social factors, culture, education, and so on. So. And uh, every, a lot of things changed since, uh, not, uh, since uh, 1,000 years ago. A lot of things changed since, since uh, I was born, or since I was a teenager or a student. A lot of things changed. And of course, uh, human capacity is evolving. But basically, what changed, uh, what, uh, changed the, the, uh, the, the rules of the game uh, most dramatically is the very fact that we have a science of personality and we have a quantification of personality characteristics. And this changes the game because already when we become the, the, the object of study, of scientific study, we already change. Let me go back to quantum physics, you know? Uh, the observation of a certain particle changes the tra trajectory of that particle. We know that, you know? It's the same with people. Uh, we live in a society where people are being um, survived, we all know that, not only for political reasons, you know. Uh, I mean, there is medical science, or psychology, uh, uh, 
juridical science, uh, social science, and we are kind of aware of being all the time study and uh, studied and, uh, and and like until the last like a microscope, and so we react, we behave uh, uh, accordingly, and this already changes us. As uh, uh, so, you you are supposed to to fill out a test, a personality test. You already change in front of that test. You have a kind of stress expectation, okay? What will be the result? How is going to impact my employment, let's say, or my uh, or my, my my position in in, in, the, in the job structure? And so you change. Uh, basically, you don't give the most objective answer. You try to to be good to play the uh, certain role. So we know there are some roles uh, they expect from us. And like but actors, we are we try our best to 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 fill in into those roles, or maybe we are just rebels and uh, reject everything. But basically, I think that already uh, this uh, this uh, this uh, interaction between the human subject and uh, uh, the knowledge of the human subject is already a new variable which has to be taken into account. So when a certain uh, a certain uh, person is supposed to fill out a test, like you already gave us an example, okay, that person already is trying to play a role to, to, to fulfill some expectations. I think the most tests take this into account. Like, okay, they ask you, do you have job satisfaction? And you say, okay, I have to say, yes, I do have job satisfaction. <laughs> but the, uh, the, basically, probably the question has, has, has a trick, you know, yeah. uh, to see how conformist you are, or how, uh, okay, how sincere your answer is, and so on. So it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, factors, I think, which interact uh, with each other. And this makes, uh, as, uh, I think, I, I don't say that tests are not valuable uh, by, uh, in themselves, uh, but I think that it has to, um, uh, it's not enough. Uh, uh, a person who hires, who leads a team, who is a leader, degree, has to process a certain instinct to people. I think, and this, uh, you have to develop this by experience. You cannot learn it automatically. You have to work with people. It's like, uh, like playing tennis or playing golf or whatever you play, you know. You, have, you learn by trial and error. Not just by uh, learning the rules and implementing them. Okay, so, okay, I want to open up this to, to a real discussion forum. So uh, let me let me get uh, some opinions and some questions or some inputs from the rest of you guys. I have to agree with with what he said about the personality evolving, and the fact because I've taken uh, the uh, the Hartman test several times. And with the different color ratios, the most recent one that I took changed this from a bit since what I've taken before. Like the color I used I, when I was a lot younger uh, in college, the first time in my twenty, like tw in my twenties, I was a, a lot of a, of a red, and now I'm much more balanced between red and yellow. And it's because of the type of work that I did. I was involved in a more creative field in, in uh, advertising and marketing. And so I just kind of agree with that, the fact that it's like, and how, how the personality changes as you get older and, you can, and your ex experience that you have and you are wiser from the mistakes that you make and you kind of learn and you kind of evolve. So I just wanted to say that I agree with, with your statement, just in the, the times that I've taken the, uh, the, the Hartman test before. If anybody has something else to add, agree, disagree? Yeah. It seems like the uh, the act of taking the test itself is changing the person who is taking the test. Uh, it's something like uh, if you're talking about quantum mechanics, it, you're you're talking about like it's, it's the Schrodinger's cat of uh, of humanities. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so in, in that way, like, uh, are you really representing uh, yourself? Yourself. Yeah. yeah. Or are you representing what you want the test to show? Uh, is it more like a more idealized version of yourself that you're presenting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah definitely. You know, uh, if I make. Uh, 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 is that then, then? Yeah, go uh, ahead. Yes. Okay, can I say something? Of course. Absolutely. Okay, I have a rule with people, you know? It, it, it might sound crazy or might sound silly to some of you. 
But basically, when I interact with a new person, I feel something. And I don't go by feelings. Let me put it again. I don't go by feelings. I never go by feelings. But when I interact with uh, a, some, a certain person, I feel something. I feel either a kind of chemistry, but maybe I feel an antipathy, deep antipathy to that person. And I stop and ask myself, why do I feel what I feel to that person? And I notice something that when I am trying to ask that question, I discover some um, blind spot in myself, you know, mm. some uh, uh, unknown territory within myself, in my unconscious mind. It's very interesting. But basically, it helps me uh, not know that person, not as uh, in itself, but rather in uh, its interaction with me. Mm. And I believe, I am not supposed as a, okay, as a team worker, as a manager, as a leader, whatever you want, okay? Uh, I, I've been a sort of a leader, a leader of the sort of myself, so you are not supposed to know people as an object of knowledge like in physics or, or even biology. You are supposed to know people in interaction with you or with your team or with your project, which is very different. And basically, I think that uh, uh, sometimes uh, emotions or instincts are very good guide, not uh, not uh, like following them blindly. But ask yourself, why do I have such an antipathy toward that person? It doesn't mean you you are not going to have a good relationship with that person. But basically, probably there is some some blockage uh, between you, or maybe why do I have this sympathy for that person? And that person might be very unwanted, and you feel it. And so I think you shouldn't rule out instincts and feelings and uh, gods uh, in this process. And okay, it's good to have a personality evaluation, a personality test, but to keep this in mind, okay, what I see here in this test is not, uh, it's, it's not a window uh, into the psyche of that person. It's rather uh, uh, a snapshot, you know, mm. uh, some uh, flash, which uh, um, basically gives me uh, uh, a momentum, uh, uh, you know, a, a very, uh, a very brief time frame and, and an angle, and that's it, you know. And uh, yes, it can give you a clue, but not more than a clue. This is my take, you know. I I, I take. Uh, because statistically speaking, when you uh, when you work with many many people, of course such tests are very good because you can predict the behavior of the majority of your employees uh, based on such tests. But the smaller the team, the more individual the relationship, the more difficult it is to to evaluate. And basically, we know for sure from psychology that uh, uh, the, every single uh, attempt to 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 predict how a person would evolve based on a personality test. Uh, beginning with uh, teen years, they did a lot of personality tests, uh, especially here in the United States, and they, 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 they watched those persons evolve into their social life. And they always failed to make good predictions. And I, I think this is a prediction in itself, a prediction, because it's just probability, and you can fool yourself. Okay, I, I saw somebody else. Do you want to? I saw your hand was up earlier. Oh, I was just commenting on how Nikki and I both had this discussion. The volume is right. Taking the test, and that we had to remind ourselves that we have to test ourselves on who we are in Taiwan and not who we are in the United States, because our characteristics tend to be a little bit different because of cultural norms and cultural expectations. So that was a nice reminder during the test. But as I remember, the Hartman test, you have to answer how you was as a, as a child. How I did it as a child? I was it as a child? I don't really think you're supposed to answer the Hartman test as you were as a child. Yeah. Um, okay, so any other comments or opinions? I always found that if, if having uh, apathy or uh, a way 
not not basically working in a team or meeting someone where they they're, I find them off putting in a sense. I find after looking at myself and questioning why don't I why do I find them off putting? It usually has to, as a reason it re they reflect a, an aspect of my personality that I don't like. There's something there's a similarity there that it kind of makes me realize oh the reason why maybe we don't get along is I have I'm just as opinionated or I'm there's an aspect of that personality of them that I think I can kind of relate to myself in an, an area where I need to grow or I need to expand or I need to evolve. Usually that's what I've had my, from personal experience. Anybody else? That's kind of a Freudian, Freudian ideology. Uh, is the volume on? Yeah. Test it. No, they're not. Okay, then just speak louder. Hello. It just reminded me what you were saying, Chris. It's a lot of what Freud talked about. Mm -hmm. Like uh, Eddie, a lot of the things you're saying are reminding me of. of uh, hang on. No. A lot of the things you're saying reminds me of if you know the analogy of Plato's cave. Uh, uh, a block. Excuse me, I didn't hear you. The cave analogy of Plato. Hang on. No, the cave analogy of Plato. Plato. Plato's cave analogy. Sorry, bro. Plato. I was sat in the back. Plato's cave analogy. Oh, Plato. Plato. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a lot okay. of things you're saying reminds me of this. You know, of this analogy that uh, you're reflecting on to other people. or you, It's really philosophical more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what you, that yeah, you know, me, Chris, is yeah. Freud You know, about. I think that uh, we, we should be a little more philosophical in our time. We don't have time to be philosophical, but we should be, because we lack uh, depth in uh, studying personality. So, uh, and this is, uh, uh, I, 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 I'm, okay, I, th I think at, uh, not also at Plato only, but also at Hegel here, so in the dialectic, you know? Uh, the phenomenology of the spirit is always changing, changing, changing. And but I mean, the, the, probably the the philosopher, or maybe you think, and not just philosopher, the the critic, uh, the critical theorist, who can give us a very good uh, insight uh, for our times, is uh, Michel Foucault, the French uh, Michel Foucault, who uh, basically redefined the concept of power. And he said that you cannot uh, make, uh, you cannot uh, 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 separate the study of the human subject from power of a human subject. Whoever studies the human subject. Something's oh. wireless. You are the subject. You have control, uh, and uh, I I think we should be uh, realistic because we love to talk about democracy <coughs> and equality and blah blah blah. But in fact, there is always a relationship of power, which uh, which implies knowledge. And basically, you know a person uh, whom you already define by your power. Okay. So I think this is we should uh, take into account that the process of knowing, of knowing somebody, of studying somebody, of testing, of uh, making prediction, is already a relationship of power. And every relationship of power changes people because there is not just, uh, as Michel Foucault said, 
uh, there is not just uh, 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 the lord and the slave, or the employer and employee, or the president and the citizen. There is a structure of power, and uh, as soon as we take our place in the structure of power, we change, because we are supposed to play the role of the boss or of the uh, or of the employee or okay servant, whatever, soldier, whatever. And so I think that uh, when it do personality test, we have to, to, to accept basically that uh, the same personality, the, the, the same person is going to be different uh, in different positions of power. And uh, uh, when you do the personality test, basically, you are already above a personality test. You are the, the true subject. So it's a very complex work, uh, basically, uh, it's 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 uh, what I say is uh, uh, is not a very deep. Uh, 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 when I say that the human nature is the most complex thing in the universe, it's it's a matter of fact. I'm going to demonstrate it, but it's a fact we have to take into account. Okay, Eddie, um, I want to move on to the next interesting part or aspect of this uh, forum. I would like to ask you, since, since you are not uh, uh, forced by any kind of uh, external or perhaps internal factors to, to choose uh, uh, answers on the test or to choose yeah. uh, mm -hmm. certain characteristics biasly, I would like to ask yeah. your opinion uh, or I, w I would like you to tell us, what did you find out when you went over the test? What did you find out about yourself? What, what has it, uh, has it surprised you in any ways? Or was, or whatever the test revealed to you, it was something you already knew and it didn't surprise you at all? You know, I think uh, it's very difficult for me. It's like uh, uh, I'm like a person who is taking antibiotics; it no longer works because uh, the, the, because uh, the bacteria has already immunity to my antibiotics. You know, and so uh, I'm kind of immune to to test and uh, stuff uh, of this kind. Uh, because I have developed a kind of skepticism and a kind of, uh, of uh, smoke screen uh, in certain interactions. Uh, therefore, I, I don't think, uh, I, I don't mean they could uh, be helpful for self-knowledge, but uh, here is a problem with me, and probably I'm not the only one, you know? Yeah, um, I think what I saw because I've used this test over the years, uh, with uh, all my classes and uh, most of the time or usually almost always I get new students coming <coughs> which of course some are younger some are older uh, usually the younger ones they they tend to think or they, they always say that oh you know I found out many different things I am now more self-aware than I was before and I'm also more socially aware after I took this test. And I think that's uh, it's true, especially with, with younger people, because people like us that are older, like uh, especially you, Eddie, you're, yeah. uh, you're a little bit older than most of us here. So I think you yeah. already... Unfortunately. Yeah, <laughs> so I think over, over the course of your life, I'm pretty sure that you became self-aware and you became socially aware 
as compared to somebody that's very young and uh, you know they may they may not have come across so many different things and experiences and people and so on and so forth. So in this sense, I would I would say from my personal experience with uh, administering this test, my students and my personal life, I would say that if I took this test when I was 16, I took, yeah, it, when yeah. I was, I, I took it when I was about 30 or 31 for the first time in my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, I would say that it probably would make, make a, a bigger difference if I were to take it when I was 16 or 17. Nevertheless, even when I, even when I was 30, or the first time I took it, I still think that it did uh, it did reveal to me some things that I wasn't aware or I didn't know before. <coughs> Especially, I I I began to think from from uh, other people's point of view a little bit more, or even much more after I took this test. At first, I thought, oh, you know, I I could only see perspectives from my own point of view. For example, I don't know, have you even, um, have you even tried to see if uh, you belong in one of the four categories, like whether you are red, or a blue, or, or a white, or a yellow? You know, he compares personalities with colors. Yeah. And he, uh, I, I kind of like that. I, I, I like the idea of, of revealing, or, or... So what, what color are you? You know, I'm, I'm, I'm mostly red. But I'm almost halfway red and uh, blue with, with some... Uh, yellow is my third one, and then white is... I have very, very little white. But I have uh, mostly red. Uh, so I'm, I'm pretty split. I'm not, I'm not very, very strong in one yeah. color versus another. But I'm, uh, I'm mostly red and blue. And then my third one is uh, uh, yellow, and the, the last one is uh, white. How about yourself? About myself, yeah. blue. Blue? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 but I, I, it's, it's subjective because I always love blue and uh, I love to see, you know, I kind of have blue eyes, whatever. And so I see myself in blue. Yeah. But let me let me give you an experience. I took another test uh, like 14 years ago, a Gallup okay. test. Okay. And uh, they, uh, it was a test through, through telephone. And they had a, a kind of a, a, a little one. Uh, whenever I like, the little to just uh, flash. You know, it's interesting. I don't know. Uh, uh, I mean, if this is uh, really so. This is what I was told basically after that. But uh, they asked me, uh, what is my favorite leader, uh, political leader, and.